Hi guys, I'm back. And wouldn't you know, I unmolded this soap before I started the video, and of course, it popped right out. So, what am I? Oh, here it is. So, wouldn't you know, I should have used the other one. This one to show. Okay, this is gingerbread. And the um, pumpkin lavender and the gingerbread are um, made from the same batch. It's the same same recipe. And gingerbread has a lot of vanilla, of course, in it. And it doesn't get dark. It gets black. It gets really, really dark. So I decided not to do anything. to the inside of it. See, look. And this wasn't even, I mean, I just took this out of the mold. So this will, I mean, it gets really, really, really dark. But it smells really, really, really good. Love gingerbread. I probably should have made a larger batch, but you can always make another one. They're all five and a half ounces. And I put a little bit of oatmeal on the top. You can see how dark it is there, but this is a, is a different gingerbread um, fragrance than I've used before, but it does have a really high, high content of the um, gingerbread I made last year, the um, manufacturer said it was skin safe, and this year it said it's not, so I picked a different gingerbread, so, oh, it smells so good. Fancy, just a plain old bar, good old fashioned gingerbread. But to me, that's, I think gingerbread should be a nice simple bar, or it can be a simple bar. It smells really, really good. I don't think I'm going to get any samples. So I have two, four, six, eight that I normally do, and then I had a little bit left over, and I put it in a, um, a silicone mold, so that's why it's a little different with the oatmeal on this side. And then I wanted to show you, let me go get it. These are the soaps I made um, the other day, and um, I had extra, so I pull, um, put them in a hard mold, and um, it'll be my last time I put them in a hard mold because um, I put them in the freezer, took them out after they were frozen, tried to get them out, let them sit for an hour outside the freezer. Couldn't get them out, let them thaw all the way, couldn't get them out, put them back in the freezer, left them there for like two days, <laughs> forgot about them, went back, let them sit out for about five minutes and they popped right out. You can see a little bit of the color on those. But anyway, these were leftovers, a little bit stayed in the mold. Um, so I'll probably just get these out as, as samples. Uh, they are, um, the fragrance is called Amazing Grace, I'm calling them Grace, and um, so there you go, nothing fancy, something I will never do again, um, they're just too hard to get out, just way, way too hard. I don't have a patient for it. So, anyway, 
And then today, of course, I'm making lots of gum soap. So I wanted to show you a finished one. It's for um, a guy who's turning 55. And um, she ordered custom stickers and they come in a package of two. And I have to make 75 packages. So, but I'm excited because it'll give me some money to get a few supplies that I've been putting off um, getting. So, I think that's all I wanted to show you. Let me see. Like this is show and tell. Here's how they're packaged. This one has a little, oops, um, has a green handle on it. But, and then she'll have her custom sticker on there. So that's what they look like packaged. And then I made a few different colored ones. I'm not really a gun person, but I figured somebody would want them. And I just listed them um, yesterday, and within a few hours, she wanted this custom order so that paid for itself and then I wanted to show you the pumpkin how hard I mean how brown the the pumpkin beer got God, once you play with the glitter you have it everywhere I have glitter everywhere anyway that's how hard they got that I think was the top of the bar but I think they're nice and they smell good my husband um, does not like the smell. He said they smell yucky. But then what does he know? He takes a shower with lavender soap. So, you know, to each its own. But um, I think they're really cute. I wrap them in um, coffee filters and tie them with um, raffia. And I think they look really cute. Very distinguished, I should say. Okay, that's it. I thought. I was going to get to making um, some soap pies, but it looks like that's not going to probably happen until tomorrow. Um, I got a bunch of orders I need to get out, and a couple I have to make up, and um, I like to get those out of the way before I start, you know, making other stuff. So I don't know. For me, it feels good to have them all packaged up and lined up and ready to go, and then I can relax. So this is um, a Saturday. It's supposed to, well, it's a little sunny out right now, but it's supposed to rain all day today and all day tomorrow. So thank God we have rain. Um, we really need it. Um, and it makes for a good soaping day. So I'm gonna stop rambling and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.